So Avatar 2 The Way of Water just came out and hey, I went to go watch it. It is incredible. But what I found out that's even better than that is that Ubisoft is developing an open world first person Avatar adventure game and I could not be any more excited for this. Anything that's open world in my favorite universes, whether it's Star Wars, who has their very own open world game coming out, Avatar, Harry Potter with Hogwarts Legacy, I love it so much. It's awesome. And, I mean, a good amount of people know this is coming out because the trailer revealing it has over 17 million views. But I really do think that a lot of people still don't know that this game is happening. Because, to me... I mean, I really just found out about it, like, a couple of weeks ago that this was happening. And, uh, it's not like, oh, it, like Hogwarts Legacy, for example, where everybody knows about this game pretty much. This one is really popular, and you'll hear it through the grapevine. It's not like punching you in the face, like, guess what, there's an open-world Avatar game coming out. And, as you can see in the description of the YouTube trailer, as well as other articles, the game was supposed to come out in 2022, and it's common knowledge that the game was hoping to release alongside the Way of Water, so they could have that one-two punch, big bang, of avatar becoming a huge cultural phenomenon again and obviously the movie is going to do that in and of itself but releasing the game alongside the movie would have definitely been some really good pr and marketing genius they would have fed off of each other it would have been great but hey it didn't work out um and now the game is slated to release in ubisoft's fy 2023-24 which runs from april 1st 2023 through to june 30th 2024 which is a really big window and the game's already been delayed internally a couple of times so it makes sense that there's such a wide window here and even this we're not even completely sure because an open world avatar game there's so much minutia and so many details in this beautiful lush vibrant world that need to be flat out and they can't be just kind of brushed over or like empty pixels I like to call them so Ubisoft I think is really making sure that while it's important to capitalize on the hype of the movies it's more important to make a really solid game that's how you're going to get your sales up and that's how you're going to make a game that really makes you a ton of money which let's be real that's what Ubisoft wants the way to do that is to make a great game Above all, because gamers are smart. Gamers aren't just going to flock to it if it's a pile of hot garbage. Like, yes, that happens on occasion, but gamers can tell the bad games from the good ones. And if Ubisoft makes a really good game here, chances are pretty strong that gamers are going to flock to it and really be satisfied with it. Now, if you want a bit more specifics into who exactly is making the game... It is going to be Ubisoft's Massive Entertainment, which is the studio behind the popular Division series, the Division 1 and 2. So, this is a quote from them. Ubisoft boasts that the game will take players to the alluring world of Pandora with all of its beauty and danger in an immersive open world experience. The game is going to come out for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Now, personally, I'm happy it is not going to be coming out on PS4 and Xbox One because I don't want to see them jump through Cirque du Soleil type hoops to try to make this thing run on the PS4 or Xbox One. I don't want my PS4 to explode in my house because it's trying to run this game. Focus on these newer systems and give us the best game possible. I love it. I'm happy with that decision. And of course, as you saw in the trailer, I'm sure all the creatures and the wildlife and the plants and everything in Pandora is going to make it so immersive and really, really cool. I hope they really lean into the AWA stuff, into the creatures. It'd be awesome if you could tame more than just a couple of creatures, like more than just the obvious ones that you would think obviously you're going to be able to tame. And I really, really hope that they make the world super fun to explore. I don't want it to be, again, like I said, a bunch of empty pixels, an empty jungle that you can't do anything in. I want it to feel so interactive and lifelike. I want to feel like I'm actually living in Pandora in this game. And I, if they need to take an extra one, two, three years to make that happen, go right ahead. I would much rather have that than feel like I'm playing in a green screen. 
That's what I want to see from this game. And it really feels, I know Ubisoft's track record lately has not been great. It seems like they really want to hit this one out of the park. And the fact that it's the team behind the division honestly makes me pretty happy. And I'm really looking forward to this thing. I think it's going to be really fun and I cannot wait for it. I'm going to have more videos coming out about this in the future. If you want to see more about it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.